Hello and welcome once again. Hitlums in Lagos have looted the Circle Mall at Jokonde in Lekki and the spa market near Nikon Estate. The Hitlums further set up blade shops in Circle Mall. Let's cross live now to Lekki where our rise correspondent Ozio Koli joins us now live from inside the Circle Mall. Ozzy, uh, glad to have you join us. I was earlier watching uh, a video of the destruction that occurred at Circle Mall. Bring us up to speed with how events are playing out there where you are right now. Now, the fires are still burning in this place. And then you can hear the sound of the rubbers coming down from up. Where we are at the at the moment, it's called Mountain Plaza. Mountain Plaza is where they sell perfumes, different types of perfume. Now, this place is still on fire. And as you can see, there are still um, things upstairs that are falling. In fact, the pillar is coming down. Everywhere here is, is, is in total disaster. The glasses are all down. The blocks have all peeled down. It's not, uh, uh, <laughs> what went down here is a serious, serious fire, serious fire. And you know, due to the coffee and so many other things that are happening in Lagos at the moment, it is very difficult to have the firefighters come in. We are in the middle of the smoke here and everywhere is still prone to destruction. The fire here, the smoke inside here is so dark here that to even breathe is difficult. You can see how things are playing out here. This is as a result of the in, in, intrusion of the hoodlums that came around from the things that we gathered, it wasn't, it wasn't the NSAS protesters that did this, but hoodlums that just came to loot. Hmm. Well, Ozzy, you know, the, I, I'm looking at this mall. I, I, it's a shadow of itself. And this is happening the second time uh, if I can remember, in the space of at least mm -hmm. six or seven months, because I recall the last time there was a protest about uh, xenophobia in South Africa, this mall was also a target here in Lagos. One would have expected that security, learning from that experience, would be put in place. Uh, what are you hearing as regards security of the mall uh, at, at this time? Was there even security at all? I also know that route very well. The Aja police station is just a minute's drive away from there. Yes, you are quite correct. Uh, but, you know, based on the situation of things in Lagos State at the moment, it's so difficult for anybody to come around. In fact, on behalf of Arise TV, if I will say something, I will say, let the fire service start coming down because things, I mean, the fire here is still on, it's still burning. At least they can still salvage one or two things. The security people here are just trying to manage what is happening and, you know, they can't manage it. You know, yeah, and it can explode at any time. The way it is, the building can come down. But if there are quick intervention, definitely, we can still save so many things here. These are live fire. You can see. It can... Yes. Yeah, Ozzy. It can, uh, yeah, Ozzy, I was immediately going to ask you that. It can uh, collapse at any time. Mm. Yeah, I was immediately going to so, ask... If there is anything that can be done, let the state government look for a way to deploy security to help the fire service to get to this point, mm. to get to this place. Yeah, exactly what I was going to ask you, whether anything can be salvaged. And then you're saying, yes, uh, the, uh, because of the situation of things, it's even difficult for the uh, fire service. But then you've asked that let the security maybe escort them to the place. Let me ask you, uh, 
whether there's any information you have uh, garnered about whether any lies were lost uh, during this attack or all of them were able to escape before the hoodlums uh, came on the scene Hello, to... if you can, if you can just... If you can hear me, there's an emotional uh, state at the moment here. There is a lady who is in tears based on what uh, she's seen here. And she's saying that I walk here and she's in tears. And I just want her to just talk to us based on the situation of things here. Please, w what do you have to say based on what you're saying and why are you crying? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, my fellow Nigerians, it's a pain for me to see this thing. I don't know where to start again. You know why I'm crying? For the past years, my husband is not working. I'm only the one that is the head of the family. Working, paying school fees, my children paying rent, disgracing up and down. I was preparing to come to work yesterday. They collected my phone when I was coming. I don't even know that something like this is happening. Who collected your phone? Some boys like that collected my phone. Since I was calling our manager, I wrote their number on the paper. I said, please. Maisie was telling me that I should not come. I should not come. I said, I've already got to the first gate. And they collected my phone. I used somebody's phone to call you right now. They said, you say, I should not go, I should not go, I should not go. I said, no, why? I said, no. That shop right is born here. I said, no, it's not true. Yesterday, I was so painful. I, can, I cannot even move. I almost sick. Do you have a shop here? Do you have a shop here? I don't have a shop, but I'm working here at Mativity Center. This is my shop, MK. <laughs> Multiple center is my shop. I was working as a security company in this in this mall. But it's painful for me because I don't know where to stand any longer. You're telling us the story before somebody distracted you. That's when you were coming. So how did you not get in at the end of the day? I need to go back that yesterday. Then this morning again, I was calling, calling to make sure that to see if really this thing is happening really. And this is my other colleague that we are working together. Uh, then I told my husband, my husband was telling me that I should not go. I said, no, let me go and witness what is happening. Let me see what is happening. Let me use my eyes to see. See people packing things, packing things, packing things, call, calling me, being come and I said, no, why will I go and pack something that not belongs to me? That what we are talking about. It's a job for now. I'm thinking about how to how to survive. It's how to survive. I'm me and my children, my family. That's what painful me most. I don't know where we're going in Nigeria. And naturally, I came now to see everything with my eyes, one on one. I see everything is burned down. So I don't know where to start from. So at first, those same boys that were coming in here took your phone. Yeah, they collected my phone, but I don't know them, so I don't know what to say. Now, After they collected your phone, then you still managed to get to this point? I still managed to get to this point, to where I am. And then you now saw what is happening? Now I saw what is happening. I said, yeah, this is real. No problem. Were you on ground when the fire actually started? I was not on ground. I was not on ground. They just told me that bunny shop. Right? I said, I do not believe. Let me go and see with my eyes. My way coming at the, at the first gate there. That's where I see boys was sitting down under the bridge there, collecting people's phones. I mean, it's not me to risk my life. I have to give them my phone. That's why I give them my phone and I came down here to see my eyes. There was no security operatives around at no, that time? No security, nothing. They are there at the bus stop there, under the bridge there. So thank you very much. I have nothing to say again. No, but so far, the management, have they done anything in putting a call through to either 
any authorities based on fire service agencies or whatever? I've been here anything from there. I've been here anything from there. Thank you very much. You said your name is. Oh. Thank you very much. So, as you can see, um, the staff that are working here, they are trying to see what they can do to put up the fire. The one that was burning when we started this report, it was one or two members of staff that came to use the fire extinguisher to see what they can do to ensure that the fires are out. But the fires are still there. There are still pockets of fire here and there. The inside is still lit with fire. And if it continues like this, there's every possibility that this place may likely come down. And these are iron. And coming down means more money to put this together. But somehow, from what we've seen so far in this place, outside there, there are pockets of military personnel. There are soldiers who are guiding, who are ensuring that things don't get out of hand. But that notwithstanding, it is expedient that fire service gets to this point. Very, very expedient that fire service comes to the rescue of these properties here.